So I always have a lot of clients ask me the differences between a portable company file and a backup company and an accounts copy and what is all this stuff. So we're just going to go through a quick overview summary of these different types of um, backups that you can make. So if you go up under here to file, you can go down to create copy. Okay, and it gives you a choice. You have your backup copy, portable company file, and your accountant's copy. All right, so the backup copy here, um, that's going to back up your entire data file. It's going to back up your templates, your logos, your transaction log, all the information that you'd need to 100% recreate your file. Okay, that's what comes in a backup copy. The backup copies can be pretty big. They'll be pretty large uh, because they have all that information in them, and especially logos, you know, uh, things that have data images, templates, those are going to rack up the, the points for, for um, space. So the backup copies can be pretty big. Most of the time, if you've been working in your file for more than a couple weeks, <laughs> uh, you're going to have a backup copy that is too large to be sent through an email. Okay, so you're going to have to use like an FTP drop site or, you know, use you send it or a Dropbox, something like that to get the file transferred from one company to another. The one thing to be sure of is if you're having your accountant work on your file for a little bit and actually take your entire file for a little bit, you want to send them the backup copy because if you send them a portable company file, you're going to lose all of your templates, your logos, all that information is lost in a portable company file. All right. So portable company file, what is this? This is a compact version of your file. It does not include the transaction log, no templates, no logos, nothing of the sort comes through on the portable company file. All right. So you can, it's a compact version. It's kind of like creating a zip drive file. It can be emailed and uh, the person on the other end can open it up. I use portable company files the most often when my clients want to send me their file to look at something. If I can't log into their computer because I'm on the road or anything like this, I say, just send me a portable company file and I'll take a look at what you're talking about and see how we can fix it, okay? So they send it to me with the intent that I am never going to fix it in this file and send it back. I'm just gonna look at it, all right? So portable company files are great for sending over data so you can review, not send back. Okay, the other thing that I've seen portable company files be used for is if you have some corruption in your data file. Frequently, if they go through all the steps of, you know, running the verify, running the rebuild, fixing the problems, you know, all the different steps that they have you run through, if that doesn't help um, to end the corruption in your data file, then frequently support will have you create a portable company file and restore it to a normal file and work in that new file. Doing it that way, I guess, is a special kind of combing your hair, special kind of verifying your data. Um, I had seen it work once I do the portable company file and restore it to a normal file. I don't have any more data corruption. However, I have lost my templates and all my forms, all my statements set up, everything's gone. So you got to make sure that you can either transfer them out of the old file and into the new file, or you're going to have to recreate those. Okay. The accountant's copy, that's the last type of copy or backup that you can create. The accountant's copy is essentially what it, it takes your data and you create a dividing dates. So if you're having your accountant review 2010 data and it's 2011 this year, then you're going to create an accountant's copy as of 1231 to a dividing date of 1231 2010. That means that everything prior to that date, the accountant can work on. They can change things, they can edit the you know lists, they can change the transactions, they can create journal entries. And then anything after that date, you can work in and continue to do your day-to-day -day transactions, enter sales, enter bills, print checks, everything. When the accountant's done, they send the accountant's copy back to you and you import their changes and it updates the history, okay? So that's the difference between a backup 
a portable company file, and an accountant's copy in QuickBooks.